Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and it is release day. This is part of a video hop so be sure to check that description box below for links to the next video. We're going to start out by stenciling the slimline layered eggs. This is a really fun slimline stencil set that has two components. It's all on one six by nine sheet of stencil material. This is, this is going to make it really easy to make a whole row of eggs that are different colors and um, have them overlap without any masking. I love that about this stencil and I love that you can use this for any size card. It is long enough to cover a slim line, a mini slim line, a five by seven, an A2, a four bar, whatever size you would like to make. It's super easy to line up with the laser etched details that are on all of the layering stencil sets from Trinity Stamps. Super easy and super fun to use. I had so much fun stenciling this entire eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock, which I will later use for a five by seven card. We're going to do kind of a rainbow here. I'm trying to make two tone eggs, by um, combining these three different primary colors in various ways. It isn't an in-your-face rainbow, but it does have a rainbow feel to it. Next, we're going to play with this layered lawn st uh, stamp set. It has coordinating dies, and I've taken three, no, sorry, four shades of green in Distress Oxides. This is Twisted Citron, I believe, and I did the first layer and now we're going to switch out to mode lawn with the second layer of lawn. I do stamp this a couple of times just to get a good solid inking. And then we are doing, is this Lucky Clover? Yes, Lucky Clover. And one final layer, we're going to use Rustic Wilderness. And that creates a beautiful uh, piece of lawn. Now each of these layers has an individual die to die cut them and there's one die that cuts the layered long lawn pieces all together. Now I'm going to adhere these pieces of lawn at the base of our eggs just to make them look like they are giant eggs sitting in a lawn. This is the feel, the feel I get from this is for all of the egg hunts that we have participated in as children or that we've hosted for our own children. The spacing um, kind of evolved. I had a different plan for what I was going to do with this card than what ultimately happened. But you may have noticed that's how I create. I will start out with an idea and it often morphs into something else. I show I will show you how I made that egg later. Next we're going to play with the Peep Show stamp and die set. I die cut a bunch of those stitched um, peeps in a bunch of different colors and now I'm stamping the sentiments from this stamp set on the white space in this card. And there sure are a lot of them to choose from. They are so cute and some of them are pretty punny. They, uh, the ones that I chose were Squishy Sweet Hugs, You're So, S hmm, easy for me to say, You're So Sweet, Peep Show, Party Peeps, and You're One of My Favorite Peeps. I love all of those sentiments and I couldn't resist using them all. Now I am adhering all of those cute little peep die cuts onto the front of our card in the different layers. And I actually really like how this turned out better than the original vision that I had before I started. I did not choose to use any glitter cardstock for this version of these peeps, but that would be certainly adorable also. I wanted them to be a little more um, consistent with the rest of the feel of this card. And I am trying to center these pretty well. They don't have to be completely evenly spaced. And I want those eggs to all be um, well highlighted on the entire card front. Super cute and actually didn't take all that much time. Now I'm going to adhere this panel that had 
I had already die cut down to, I think this is four and a half by six and a half inches, and we're going to adhere that to a five by seven card base. <clears throat> and then um, I have all of these cute little bunny ears sticking out the top. I could not bring myself to cut them off. I think they're just so cute. I will just have to make a slightly bigger envelope for these to go in. What would you do? Would you trim off the bunny ears or would you have fi figured this out before you adhered them so you could keep them on the card without having to trim them? I've took some more of these cute little bunnies and I'm adhering them inside the card and we'll bring in one of the sentiments to the inside also. I'm going to bring out the You're My Favorite Peep. No, You're One of My Favorite Peeps. And we're going to use some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink again and our block to stamp that right inside the card. I've been getting a little more brave lately using um, a block to stamp our things. So that is card number one. And I've already used several products. We're going to bring in another product. This is the Ribbon Twirl no ribbon twirl or ribbon swirl egg and three colors of ink these might even be the same three colors kitsch flamingo squeezed lemonade and salvage patina and we're going to ink blend a rainbow of ribbon on this egg I like to start with the yellow I don't know why I didn't start with the yellow this time but um, then you can overlap the pink and the blue with it to create orange and green and then you have your instant rainbow so that's layer one this is another two layer uh, stencil set and again it has the etched lines that help you line this all up I have a little bit of paper tape here no masking tape and I use that to adhere this to the card stock not card base it's the card stock and I am going to repeat the same process to fill in the rest of the ribbon twirl I love these ribbon twirls they are really pretty we have a Christmas tree version of this too actually two Christmas tree versions of the twirl it's pretty we're going to pull out the extra stamp set now this is a stamp and die set. I'm only using the words on this one. I'm not using the dies or the egg um, stamps. It says your extra special. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times with VersaFine no Claire Nocturne ink. And then I'm going to come back and bring some clear embossing powder here and get that all covered. <clears throat> I have my embossing powder in this sandwich tin uh, or container. I have had this same container for years and I have put various clear detail embossing powders in here mixed together. So I really can't even say which one it is that I have in here. Um, I did even have some scented stuff in here because I really wasn't using it for a scented purpose and I thought, why not mix it in? Use what you got. Now we are going to use some glitter cardstock to die cut some backings for these extra peeps from my first card. I found a purple and a pink to go behind the purple and pink cardstocks in my stash, and I'm just going to adhere these together. I'm sure we all have glitter cardstock in our stash, and now's a good time to pull it out and use it. Next, we're going to use the Chocolate Bunny die set. It creates this bunny with an eye and a bow that both die cut separately. And I tried ink blending this a little bit, but I really didn't need to do that. There's a lot of embossed details right from the die. And I put a little piece of tape behind the bunny. And first I tried to put my little tiny blue eye um, piece inside the hole that was created by the die for an eye. Well, that wasn't quite big enough. So I went back and I die cut just the eye portion from some white cardstock. I'm going to add a little dot of glue and add our little blue iris for our bunny's eye. And that gives it that classic chocolate bunny look. And then we're going to glue our pink bow on the front of our or on our bunny's neck. I think that's so adorable. 
Next, we're going to try to layer that up the way we want it and use a bit of press and seal to help figure that out. And now I'm going to ink blend a panel of cardstock with ripe persimmon, squeezed lemonade, and twisted citron. We're going to start with the yellow. And then we're going to come back in with the twisted citron and the ripe persimmon and create a fun blend. I really wanted to tie this in to the colors and not um, necessarily a rainbow, just the orange, yellow, green feel. And I wanted this to be very, um, I wanted this to have the ink smushing background. I wanted lots of texture and interest on that background, along with all of that bold color. So I am using a couple of methods to get that. I come back in with some, uh, I think that's Distress Oxide sprays, yep, in mowed lawn, squeezed lemonade, and carved pumpkin, just to add more detail. I haven't done much ink smushing lately, and sometimes, your paper isn't as cooperative as you would like. Um, I'm not getting the really bright white um, details from the ink spattering. And I think it must have been the cardstock that I chose. And I don't even know. I think I just grabbed a piece out of my scrap bin. So I'm not even sure what kind of white cardstock that was. Sometimes it really pays off to use watercolor cardstock because it responds so dramatically to the distress inks. But this turned out good. Now we're going to start adhering those components that I've already created and just adding a little glue. I did do another extra layer behind our bunnies um, in a half measure um, so that it would lay on top of the egg that I created. I used an egg die to die cut out our twirled egg. Um, the dainty, dainty scallop edge, dainty edge. There's an a egg layering die set that comes out this release that will do this for you. I'm adhering my chocolate bundy slightly behind the pink peep heavy block to make sure that sticks well. And then I'm using the Bubble Amore. These are cute little clear iridescent hearts in several sizes. And we're going to add those to the front of the card um, to add some extra detail and a little extra va va boom. I think it's super, super cute. Inside, I decided we needed to ink blend this beautiful egg one more time in the same fashion with the pink, yellow, and blue in a fun, soft rainbow. I really love how this looks, and I think I'll probably be using it in a few more uh, projects just because I really like it. It's so pretty. It's so Easter. It doesn't have to be Easter. It's very spring. That's the word I was looking for. Um, I don't know how many Easter projects you send, but sometimes it's just fun to create whether you're going to send it or not. And that completes card number two. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making these projects. I had whiled away an entire morning making these because I was having so much fun. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to this channel. Check that description box below for the next video in the video hop. Here's some details about that. That'll also be in the description box below. And as always, there will be list a list of the links and products that I used in this video. Until next time, bye-bye.